In Fairy Tale 433 and 434, we get the conclusion of what exactly our Lord Arlock was gonna summon. And regards as to why he has a like steampunkish like mask. And he had to burn his face for some reason. I guess it was kind of like a contract or something. To summon one of the uh, eight, I think, war gods or something like that. Let me see. Yes, one of the 18, actually, war gods of Yukama. And his name is uh, the war god Ikatsunagi. Something like that. And we get a big, like, big page of what he looks like. And at first, when his foot came down to earth, my thought was, holy shit, this guy's going to summon the dragon. Which, in regard, I thought it was a little bit too soon to bring in a dragon because we had that, like, other arc a while ago about the dragons, which, don't get me wrong, dragons are cool, but still. I wanted to see a little bit different, and we did get it. We did get, like, a big page that was, like, this kind of, like, warrior dude with, the, uh, I believe, a sword, a big-ass sword, and a dude looked like a Megazord, pretty much, something out of Power Rangers. But my thought was, like, holy shit, how they're going to defeat this, this one big-ass dude. And the or Lord Arlog was like, ha ha ha, you're not going to be able to kick his ass and all that. Which, out of nowhere, Natsu, he, he's a little bit headstrong. And my, my thought was going to be like, oh, he's going to get put down, you know. Then something's going to happen where everybody has to gather up and regroup and, you know, fight him back. But I guess that didn't happen exactly. And it goes to show you how strong Natsu has gotten over the past one year timescape that we had. So that's good to know that, you know, he's not like he was back then and I want to know what kind of training he went through like what exactly did he do because um he used that one fist of I guess Igneo and he fucking shattered the fuck out of that big ass like Megazord dude <laughs> and that was pretty cool I mean the dude at the end was speechless at 434 uh Lord Arlock and it goes to show you how strong he really is at this moment in time I mean who else is gonna be able to keep up with him I mean even Gray noticed it himself. Was like, "Holy shit, you're pretty fucking strong," and he just pounded the hell out in his on his head. And you can see him all like crumble up and down, and like everybody around the town is like, "Holy shit, this one dude did this." And you know, before we get him punching the head of of one of the war war gods of the 18 whatever, uh, we get that generic you know fairy tale like, "Yeah, friendship is all this," which pretty much pumped him up, I guess you could say. Now, I'm not trying to put down fairy tales, you know, friendship stuff like, oh, you know, it's your casual fairy tale friendship thing, which you know, it's it's I guess that's what it's based around the whole series, friendship and all that. But you know, after a while, it gets kind of really salty and dry. But it's it's whatever Hiromashima wants to do, so good on him, I guess. So at the end of the pretty much the page, we just get that big pounding of the fist of. Not to killing him, and he, the dude's like pretty much crumbled into pieces, and everybody's like in shock. And Urza's the one's like, "Holy crap, you you've gotten really strong." She's like pretty much blushing at the end of the page. So that's kind of cute, but you know, even you know, it says at the end bonds overlap and becomes one strength. So you could say that that's what caused him to you know becomes you know strong to beat up this guy because you know Captain Arlock pretty much sacrificed his own man, which is pretty messed up. You know, he didn't give a damn. He was like, eh, whatever, this is part of the purification, you know. I was going to um, save your ass, so whatever. So that's pretty good to know. But, you know, apparently there's going to be on the next d double chapter, actually, along with a huge announcement. So I'm interested in to see what the huge announcement will be. We're going to get another double chapter, so that's pretty cool. Like, back-to-back -back chapters. I mean, I haven't seen this before, actually. I think he... Um, Hiro might be the first author to be doing this kind of thing, or maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I mean, we got a week, wait a week or something like that. But it's cool. It's cool. Patience is cool. But either way, I'm I'm hoping to see what this huge announcement may be. Either maybe something that's not related to the uh, to the manga itself. Maybe we'll get a second movie. Who knows? But I'm hoping we'll see what's up with that. So yeah. This, this whole chapter, I'm going to rate with at least a solid 8 out of 10. You know, I kind of wish there was kind of a little bit more conflict with that one uh, big giant dude with actually the whole fairy tale group. But it was um, kind of a eh. But, you know, we understood what Nazi's true strength was. You know, he went up uh, against a huge, like, stranger of a god. And the dude was like, well, whatever, I'm going to kick his ass. Which is good to know that Nazi is actually a strong... Um, 
strong wizard. But yeah, 8 out of 10 this whole chapter, and yeah, I can't wait for the huge announcement for, I guess, next, next week, so, very tall. But yeah, guys, that's all I have to say about this, this week's chapter, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.